Hey, what's up my network marketing friends? Todd Falcone here. Welcome to ToddFalcone.com. Today I want to tell you a little bit about how to get more phone numbers on Facebook. How do you, how do you, because I don't know, think about, think for a second, all the people that you're connected to on Facebook right now that you, you like and comment and share and engage and interact with, do you have 100% of their phone numbers? I guess that the answer is probably no. I realized a few years ago that I didn't. And I'll tell you exactly how I did it. Here, here's the one thing that you have to understand. If you've been on Facebook for any period of time, especially if you've been doing business on Facebook for any period of time, you've come to the realization that it's harder to reach your audience. Like even on a profile page, a regular profile page, the percentage of people that are actually seeing your post has gone way down from what it was five or six years ago. And then on a business page, for example, it's significantly down. In fact, it's significantly down so much that business pages really have to be paying for their posts to be seen by their audience. In fact, I calculated it the other day. If I do a standard post, about 0.03%, three tenths of 1% of all of my followers, for example, on my business page, will see a post if I don't pay for that post to be promoted or if I don't put that out in the marketplace. So that's something to consider. Now, here's something that I've also found, like we've gotta be able to connect on a one-to-one -one basis with people. And the easiest way that I've been able to get phone numbers from people that I'm connected to on Facebook, it's very simple, anybody can do this. And I would make this a regular habit. First of all, it involves like Facebook Messenger. So you have Facebook Messenger, you can chat up anybody that you're connected with on Facebook. I would, I would say that you do that regularly just as a way of staying connected with your audience. And then once you've engaged somebody in conversation, let's say you see a green dot on the right side of your screen and somebody you haven't talked to in a while, uh, maybe you've never talked to them in person and you engage them in conversation on Facebook Messenger, when I go into that messenger chat and we go back and forth a little bit, I might say, hey, John, I want to make sure that you have my personal phone number and email. Here's my personal cell phone number. This is my private email address. What's yours? I never just say, what's your phone number or what's your email address? The law of reciprocation states that if you do something for someone, they feel inclined to return the favor. So it's very simple. I don't think I've ever been denied somebody providing me their contact information when I do it that way. So if you want a very easy strategy to start getting phone numbers of the people that you're connected with on Facebook, engage them in conversation, have a little back and forth, and then first offer your contact information. Hey, John, here's my personal cell phone number. Here's my email address. What's yours? And you'll find people easily giving you their personal contact information. Then you've got that personal contact information. So if you want to pick up a phone or send them a text message or send them an email, you can do that. It's very simple. And I think it's a very important strategy so that you're not fully reliant on hoping that you can connect with people through like Facebook Messenger or through their Facebook page because we never know what's going to happen, right? So that's an easy strategy. We'll see you on another video. This is Todd Falcone. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.